Hi everyone, this is Phil Yeager for Yeager CPA Review. It's a Facebook live video, but of course when you watch it, it'll be actually archived. So today I'm going to talk about section 1231 assets and it deals in regulation, it deals in taxation. Now, do you know what a section 1231 asset is? Well, let me tell you. It's either a tangible personal property used in a trade or business which must be held for more than one year, or it could be real estate used in a trade or business, and also it must be held for more than one year. Now, the advantage is this. If you sell a Section 1231 asset, let's take personal property used in a trade or business, a machine, you sell it, and you sell it at a gain. The question is, how do you tax the gain on that Section 1231 machinery and equipment, we call it machinery equipment, and the answer is this, all right? There is some recapture involved. And it makes no difference whether a corporation sells it or a sole proprietor. Please remember, the rule is the same. Namely, determine what your gain is, and then the portion of the gain that is ordinary income is the amount of the depreciation you took, and that is called recapture. Recapture is the amount of the gain that's ordinary income. And, all right, please remember that that is called Section 1245. 1245 is the amount of ordinary income of the gain when you sell personal property used in a trade or business when it's held for more than one year. And the balance of the gain, if you still have additional gain, the balance of the gain is Section 1231 gain, long-term capital gain. Now, if you have real estate that is used in your business and held for more than one year, and we have a sole proprietor who sells that real estate, a sole proprietor, if there's any gain, all the gain is Section 1231 gain. But remember, it's gotta be held for more than one year. So sole proprietors will treat the gain all as Section 1231 gain. Now, if there's a loss, is a Section 1231 loss. And Section 1231 losses are ordinary losses. I didn't mention that with the personal property, the machinery and equipment. Yes, if that was sold at a loss, it would also be Section 1231 loss, ordinary loss. Now, if we have a corporation that sells real estate used in a trade or business that was held for more than one year, all right, is there any recapture when a corporation sells it, whether it's a C or S corporation? And the answer is yes. We have Section 291. Section 291 says, if a corporation sells real estate used in a trade or business held for more than one year, 20% of the depreciation taken is recaptured as ordinary income under Section 291. Then the balance of any gain will be Section 1231 gain, long-term capital gain. Now remember, Section 1231 assets are assets, personal property, real estate used in a trade or business. But remember, it's only a Section 1231 asset if it's held for more than one year. That is a brief summary on Section 1231 assets. All right, we would appreciate your comments, questions on our Facebook video, or if this is placed on any other social media, your comments, questions will be addressed. I thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and have a good day to everyone out there. Bye now.